muchachos. <laughs> Okay, so how do I put this lightly? These last like couple days, this last week, I have severely lacked motivation in all categories except for Netflix watching. In that category, I thrive. But everything else has not been getting done. And so I realized that I need to find a way to make it happen, get things done, cross them off the list, Get that satisfaction feeling of like filling in that little to-do box uh but i could not motivate myself and so i came up with a list of things to do to help me do that and also making this video because if it has to be content then i have to do it see see trick yourself into doing it exactly first i have a long list of items tasks that I need to accomplish before the weekend is out, before today is out, uh, and I don't want to do most of them, but we are going to do it, because that's what this video is about. Um, and then below it, I have a list of things to uh, help me do them, prepare myself mentally, physically, spiritually, all the lees, okay? <laughs> So, first, my to-do list. She's not that bad, but she's, you know, still pretty hefty. Uh, I have to practice my baton, because I'm meeting with my co-drum major Sky tomorrow, and I don't want to look like an absolute fool when I tr attempt to spin and toss and then, you know, like, hit myself in the head. That's, that's a no bueno, so we gotta fix that. I need to finish my book. I am reading this memoir called... Can You Hear Me? by Jake Jones for my AP Lang class and I need to finish it. There's only like 15 pages left so that shouldn't be too difficult. But I'm a very slow reader so we might actually have to allot time to that task. Um, next, AP Registration. As I just told you, I'm taking AP Lang. I'm also taking AP Calculus and I need to register like the deadlines like in a week. And my uh, advisory teacher is getting on my back about not registering so that that needs to be done completed finished out of my mind so that she will stop nagging me next WAMAP that's just like a program that my calculus teacher uses to assign even more homework than she already assigns um, next spray my shoes I got these vans not I'm not wearing them or anything they're at my house I got a pair of vans like seven, eight months ago, probably nine, and I still haven't sprayed them with a protective layer. They've been sitting in my shoe rack, pristine, not been worn, um, and so that needs to be done. I need to stop procrastinating a lot, so that is on the list. Okay, uh, read seven habits. I got, ta-da, the seven habits of highly effective people book. It's actually a lot thicker than I thought it would be. Um, but alas, I am excited to read this and get through it and become a highly effective person. Um, and that goes right along with getting motivated. So I do want to read a little bit of that. In addition, I have an essay to write. Was it actually due last night? Yes. Did my teacher extend the due date till two days well tomorrow really yes um is the current draft i have one not finished and two absolute trash yes so that needs to be fixed if it can be fixed it's kind of really bad at this point so we don't know but you know gotta hold out hope um hunt for running locations this is taking a really long time uh I am the captain of my cross country team and we just cycle through the same locations for running so I need to find new ones, spice things up, uh, work out, need to work out, essential, this uh, bod doesn't get the way it is all by itself, you know? So that needs to happen. Uh, I need to study because I have my PowerPoint certification test on Wednesday for my third period class and I need to pass. And I need to pot my plant. I got a really cool plant yesterday. I love it. 
I'm a plant mom. If uh, life's going rough, highly suggest getting a plant. One that's easy to take care of. It improves your life tenfold. Okay, so that is my list. She's thick, I know. Um, but to prepare for that, I have a plan. Step one, get a bomb outfit on. Because I can never be productive when I'm wearing my pajamas. It just doesn't happen, not in the right state of mind. So, gotta get an outfit. Already done. Checked off. I'm actually really proud of this outfit, even though you can't see all of it. Um, so, that's done. No longer in my pajamas. Key step. I need to cross that off. Um, next thing. Meditate. I got into meditating a little while ago, and I really enjoyed it. I felt like it was really calming and like helping with my stress. But, I, I just haven't been doing it lately, so... I do want to meditate, and I'll explain how I do that a little bit more when I get to that. Then read my book, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Um, listen to hype music. This always helps me when I'm trying to get motivated to do something. If you just listen to really good music, it'll get you in a mood for anything, especially if it's like really exciting and you really like it. Then it just it changes everything. Music helps so much. And then my last thing is ask why. Because as a professional procrastinator myself, I've found that a lot of times it's not poor time management skills. It's just me trying to avoid, like, feeling a certain way or, like, the task itself. Like, I don't want to feel stupid when I do my homework or I don't want to feel stressed when I do this certain task or I don't want to be bored doing this certain task. And so I found that it helps a lot to get a task done or at least start it if I ask myself why I'm actually doing that task. And this is really life-changing and I... If you take anything from this video, definitely take that because it helps so much. So before like I do each of these tasks, or at least most of them, I'm going to like, you know, reflect, ask myself why I'm doing them, and then I'll probably be more likely to do it, right? Because like for baton, which I'm about to go out and do, because um, I'm at like our local middle school, by the way, to practice, and thankfully there's like no one here. So like, why do I need to practice my baton? Well, because I want to be prepared for when marching season comes so I can perform really well. I want to represent my band well. It's a skill that I really want to become good at and I want to lead by example because as a drum major, sort of a leader of a band for sure, and if I'm not good at the thing that I do, then like how are the people who are following me supposed to like work hard at what they're supposed to be doing too, you know? And so those are all reasons why I want to do it. And um, just keeping that in mind, I feel like is going to definitely help me stay motivated. So before I go out and do that, I am going to meditate. Well, I've asked why. Check. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to go out. I'm gonna meditate and then I'm gonna listen to really hype music while I'm doing it to like keep me excited about doing it. So I'm gonna meditate first. I won't film myself doing that because that's boring, but ooh, do I have space? Yeah. So essentially I just sit, I go cross-legged because I don't know, that's traditional, that's stereotypical, I don't know. I don't actually know how to meditate, I just kinda wing it and I feel like it helps. So I kind of just get here and I put my hands on my knees and I close my eyes and I focus on my breathing and I set a timer. I usually go for five minutes. Um, there are people who do it for like hours. I'm not there yet. A girl don't got the time. Um, but I'll just do it for five minutes and I just won't open my eyes for the whole time and I'll breathe deeply and then I'll sort of manifest what I want to do in a way. I'll picture myself like doing the things that I need to do like on this list and me being like happy while doing them and that also helps a lot and then I'll think and reflect on like what's been stressing me out lately like what do I want to improve on and things like that and when I'm done I just feel a lot better so that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, meditation is done. I'm feeling uh, really good. I'm excited to do my baton, but uh, before I do that, I thought I'd share a little something with you guys. If you know, you know, but in marching bands, you have to wear these special shoes for marching, and they're called dinkles. That's actually what they're called. Light of my life. Uh, gotta love them. Uh, the only thing is they are like specially formulated to look like they belong to a seven-year-old man. They're so ugly, 
but like at the same time they're also super comfy so like also no complaints uh just thought i'd share that with you because i am wearing these in public and they are kind of gross but uh necessary <laughs> for uh marching band okay thanks so the video clips of me spinning baton, working out, and editing my essay all decided to spontaneously delete themselves. So here's a video of me really enthusiastically spinning my baton in my front yard. We are back in the car where it is warm. However, I for I forgot my uh, lamp. Uh, so and it's getting darker. So I can only imagine that the lighting is atrocious. So I'm gonna take you guys home. Oh, but first a slight intermission because the sunset was popping off. Okay, so now here's me reading my book. It's a book called Can You Hear Me by Jake Jones. He is a paramedic and it's just a compilation of stories of when he was a paramedic and how it affected them. I think it's really interesting. Here's my cat. She was being so annoying. She won't let me do anything in peace. Yeah, so if you're into that kind of book, I would definitely recommend, definitely go check it out. There, It was recently published, so in the back it actually included a part about how COVID has affected ambulances, which is also really cool. Oh, and here's the clip of me pretending to work out for you because the clip got deleted. What a grind. Ooh, that took way too much effort to get up from that push-up. Oh yes, on the ground now, doing the sit-ups. Where is the form? The form is not strong with this one. Not by a long shot. Ooh, the flop. That good after-workout flop. me rocking these frocks? Yes. Look at her. Look at it. It has these little like pictures that flies and things fly into. So cool. <laughs> Voila. So at this point I really needed to get my essay done because it was like 9.45 and it was due at midnight. Stress levels were at an all time high. And I did get it done but the clip of me actually editing my essay got deleted so this is actually me editing this video. How meta is that? Hello. So I believe that the last time you saw me I was frantically writing my essay in bed. That was me three days ago. This is me three days from then, or three seconds from when you last saw me, time is relative. Uh, but long story short, I did finish writing my essay that night, and then I decided that I hated it, so I did frantically rewrite it the next day, Sunday, and I got it done. Was it perfect? No. Was I proud of it? No. But was it good enough to turn in? Yes. So that's all that really matters and I didn't really get that much stuff done that was on my to-do list. I got like three things done. I think I got my baton, my essay, and I finished my book. Um, and that was it. But I think that it's the effort that counts. I didn't spend my afternoon just like watching Netflix or like scrolling through TikTok. I mean I did, but that's not all I did. And I think that that's the important takeaway from this video here. Um, yeah, did I improve? A little bit. I probably wouldn't have finished my book if I hadn't decided to make this video. So there's that. Anyway, thank you for joining me. Um, you know, keep grinding, getting that stuff done. Okay, bye.